Welcome to Gems in Ms. Madiha's class today. We will be learning today long multiplication. In long multiplication lesson today, we will be focusing on how to do simple two digit by two digit multiplication. I will also explain you further how to do uh, two digit, sorry, three digit by two digit. For my three digit by three digit multiplication, you can check my other videos. So here, let's pick up the two digit by two digit first. So let's pick up an example of 32 times 26. Put this 32 here at the top is your first number and the 26 goes underneath. Tens under tens and ones under ones. Now here, we will pick up Now here, we will pick this 6 and multiply it with this 2. Simple. 6 times 2 is 12. In this 12, pick this 2, write it here, write under 1s. It is a 1, write under 1s. And this 1 goes on top of the 3. Now, after this, pick the same 6 and multiply now this 6 with this 3. 6 times 3 is 18. I'm writing this here to explain you. So pick this one, is it still there? This one actually goes all the way and get added in 18, giving you 19. So you write here 19. The job of this 6 is now done. Because the job is done and I don't want it to be super messy, I will just simply clean these lines that I just made. The job for this two starts, but before that, we have been working on this second row underneath 192. So under two, no number comes. So we put a zero here. You can also put a cross multiplication sign. So let's come back. Now pick this two and like this, we're going to be multiplying this two by this two first. So two times two is four, which comes directly underneath. 9, which is going to be our first number, and then this 2 is going to get multiplied by this 3, like this. So first, the 2 on the 1 is going to get multiplied with this, and then the 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. So that 6 just simply comes here. And then you just simply add them. 2 plus 0 is 2. Sorry, 9 plus 4 is 13, 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8, 832. Done, your answer. Okay, so this was the two digit by two digit. You can always go back on the video if you want to just see and repeat and review. I will now take you guys to three digit by two digit. So let's pick up an example. Let's say we do 534 times 47. Okay. I just pick, try to pick like random numbers so that you can uh, be introduced to different times tables as well. So 534. And how will you write it? You will write this 47 as 1 under 1s and 10s under 10s. Times. There we go. Same idea. Pick this 7. The job for this 7 starts. And the job for this 7 is to get multiplied by first this 4, then with this 3, and then with this 5. 7 times 4 is 28. What will come here? Same idea. 8 will come here. And where will this 2 go? Here. Then 7 times 3. Okay, 7 times 3 is 21. Don't forget this 2. Once we have 21, we need to add this 2 in this 21. Giving you 23. How will we write here? We will write 3 here. And this 2 of 23 goes on top of this 5. Now, 7 times 5 is... This 7 is getting multiplied by this 5. 7 times 5 is 35. 
plus 2. Remember to add this 2, which gives you 37. So comes here 37. The job for this 7 is now done. So since the job is done, I would just like to make it a little cleaner. You definitely no need to erase it on your workbooks. It's just because I'm explaining you, so I just want to have a little more cleaner screen. Now, we will pick this four now, and the job of this four is exactly the same as the job this seven did. This four will get multiplied by first with this four, then with this three, and then with this five. So let's do this four times four. But before we do that, remember that we have to put a zero here first or a cross because no number comes underneath this. Four times four is 16 right here. So this six comes here and this one goes on top of the number next to four, which in our case is three. Now, this 4 and 3 will multi get multiplied. Remember, we do 4 first, 1s first, 10s first, 100s, and if there would be any other number, we're going to keep going in that sequence. I will make some other video for those ones. 4 times 3 is 12, but don't forget to add this 1 in it. So, 4 times 3 is 12. And to add this 1 in it, this 1, we get 13. So we write 3 here and we write a 1 here. Then 4 times 5 is 20. And in 20, don't forget to add this 1, giving you 21. So you just simply write that 21 here. Time to write down the answer now. Now we're going to simply add them. 8. 6 plus 3 is 9, 7 plus 3 is 10, 1 goes here, 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and there is nothing above 2, so 2. And this is your answer. Done. If you would like, you can go on my website, gemslearninginstitute.com. It's www.gemslearninginstitute.com to download the times table, uh, to download the times tables practice sheets there. It's completely free. Just go on free resources and you can go and download there and practice your times tables, simple times tables. Okay. Thank you for watching and attending Ms. Madhi Haskell's.